Well, we took inspiration not just from other games, but we also took a lot of inspiration from 20 years worth of English gangster films. Get Carter, The Long Good Friday with Bob Hoskins and Michael Caine, and then right up to The Lockstock and Two Smoking Barrels. The game's set in London, and um, there's two protagonists. So there's Mark Hammond, who's an ex-gangster, and uh, Frank Carter, who's um, a copper. And uh, the story begins um, as Mark wakes up in his apartment and uh, he hears screams coming from downstairs and it's his wife. And he runs out and his wife's been murdered in the street. Has no idea why. And his son's just been bundled into a car that's screeching around the corner. Go, 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 go! Then the backstory comes and you realise that Mark's actually been in London's crime underworld. Uh, and now he's being dragged back into that lifestyle by Charlie Jolson. You're in no position to be making demands. What's this all about, Charlie? I thought you'd retired. You know I have. Make the boy listen. Well, one of the things we tried to do with this game is to make the story stand up, and, you know, compared to a film. And, and that's difficult because, it, intuitionally in games, the story <laughs> tends to get in the way of the gameplay. So we make the gameplay work first and then have the narrative wrap around that. So that's a bit of a different way to go about writing the story. You think that playing as Mark Hammond, say, uh, this guy's going to be a little bit of a dodgy geezer, perhaps not very moralistic. In fact, Mark Hammond plays the game for very moral reasons to get his son back. Then you go to the other side of the law and uh, Frank Carter, who you assume is going to be the good guy figure, is a little bit dodgy in his ways because even though he's playing as the right side of the law, he'll do anything to get his guy, if you like. Charlie Jolson, he would be your arch nemesis. Mark has had links with Charlie in the past, and you don't really find out until the end of the game why Charlie's doing this to Mark in, in particular. Yasmin, the game's hit woman. Uh, she's a professional now, she's been a trained killer. She was one of Charlie's girls, and he saw how uh, she had a violent streak to her and decided to train her for other purposes. The very fact that we've got people that are very integral to the story side of this game, actually within the team and working with the team, means that the storyline's never forgot, it's never missed, it's never tagged on. It pushes the game forward. It's just like watching an hour worth of gangster flick within a game. Dad.